as we have seen what happened recently uh, in Middle East, uh, people have taken, uh, gone to streets, uh, protested against all these states like Libya, Syria, Yemen, and all that has superseded our cause, which has been there for past 60 years, not less than that. So, but the thing is, we see the media that there are multiple uh, double standards in the West and back in uh, respective countries. Uh, what we have seen, uh, these double standards over here, the media portray them as I, I saw it on television. These Democrats have gone and captured some army uh, installation and taken guns and all to protect democracy. If a Baloch would have done that, what would he have been labeled? A terrorist. Mm. So this is multiple um, uh, double standards going on all over the world. And we see a friend said we should uh, tell respective in our respective country, the, like the Punjabis and um, other nations, like in uh, Sri Lanka, tell the Singhalis. But they have been f fed with these um, lies. There's a propaganda going on all the time, like the, the Tamils are terrorists, the Borodic are terrorists, the Kurds are terrorists. So if they find a mass grave, they don't care. They'll think, oh, another terrorist. It's good what has happened to them. This is the way they think over there. And the media has played a big role over there, uh, promoting government's propaganda. I think uh, we have seen the same over here. Now, what the way they portray all this? I'm I'm against uh, all these states. What it's all like? They're dictators. But the way West is siding with those people who are going to the street and saying yes, these are Democrats. They they allowed. If if any a Kurdish group would have gone to a Turkish area or in Iraq anywhere and taken over and took guns, the, the next moment they would have said, these, these are terrorists, See, they take guns and they're fighting, uh, and they're, they're up in arms. And so it's double standard from the West. We can go to the British public, but it's difficult. The media is not in our favor, because the government is not in our favor. And we are weak people, we do not have that kind of funds to constantly inform them what's happening to uh, our people. It's a difficult thing, but we have to think about ways how to, so all the communities come together, uh, bring our energy together and our health together, and then say, yes, I've got this person, this contact, or this politician, let's inform them about uh, the Kurdish cause. Let's inform them what's happening in Turkey and once what's happening in Sri Lanka. Then, yeah, then we might have a bigger public to know our cause, what we are going through. That's a, it's not the first time. In Balochistan there has been five major military operations and thousands of people have died for the past 60, uh, 60 years. In the 70s there was a big operation, 8,000 people disappeared and we, we did not find a single person. We don't, do not even know where their graves are. So it's a, we have to unite and understand how to do that. I would like to know your views on that. How, what should we do? Well, in a couple, okay, we, in a couple of sentences. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, if, if Nicolas Sarkozy comes on TV and says we should support the uh, indigenous people freedom you know, democracy. and democracy, then I cannot just uh, you know, help but to question and be suspicious about it. That, 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 that simple thing that explains, no, no, you, you, you're just uh, there for, for, for your interests. And if, if you saw because you're Cameron kind of involves and using these kind of discourses of democracy, human rights, freedom, etc., no, we don't, we don't buy that. Not at all. I think that's, that, that's the basic response that I would give you. And, and you're absolutely right in terms of double standards. <coughs> Yeah, the solution what what I am asking is uh, the international community against disappearance. Why can't you make this happen? Why can't you make the the first step towards this? 
Yeah. So um, today we are here at least four different communities. I don't know some of the communities is here. Why can't the international community again disappear? You can take the first step. I think we all will support. We all will support. Say like, I agree with you 100% in, um, in Trafalgar Square. So all the Tamils only there. Yeah? So even we'll target something for the next time, something uh, this gentleman or for his community want to do, we know all need to be there. The Balakistan people, the Colombian people, all need to be there. So the British people, the people from this country, they, they belong to this country, I don't know where they are wrong. They may think, okay, something is different. Because now they think, okay, that is Tamil's issue, that is Turkish, Kurdistan's issue, that is Pakistan, so that's Colombian issue. So that's only a small minority group in this country. They don't bother. What Mr. Hasse, or I, I, I don't know whether I'm pronunciating your name correctly, uh, Mr. Hasse, uh, his concerns is very, very right. The member of Parliament, they're not going to do nothing. But if the British public comes to know, yes, there are something in these people because there are Tamils there, Belkistan is there, Colombian people are there. So what is this? What's happening here? So they may support us, probably within a year. We can try to make some changes because it's a big question. It's, uh, one of the friends told us that <coughs> the double standard is always there. One of the American ministers comes and say, what about the Libyan? Oh, they are my friends. Yeah? But they are, they are the other side of it. If somebody do the same thing, they are terrorists. So what they do is, they, they call it the people power, democracy, so and so, various things. But only the people's power comes in once they voted. Once they voted, they elected the government, they completely they forgot about what the government is going to do, how their foreign policy is going to work and things like that. So there are, there's a big, big, big issues far beyond our control. But as a community, we can take this as a first step. We can start it from today. We can start it from today to unite and raise our voice. So that's the point to start. We see how it happens. I think like everybody is saying, uh, unity is the key point. Unity within ourselves and unity with the communities that are suffering the same, same with us and informing the uh, common public whether they are British, American and whoever they are. The governments we know, we have tried them, we don't, they don't do anything. The governments are basically colluding with the governments that are, that are oppressing our people. So if ICAID is going to do anything like this or taking a step, we have always tried to be with ICAID and we are still, uh, we will support whatever way you will do that with people and whatever way you want to do it. And we are with you. I just very quickly, I think the same. What they had is a, is, is a response to a world society. And personally, it's just irritating asking everyone, just questioning their deepest assumptions. <coughs> That's what I see with frivolity of the people. The people just, their point of departure are the most basic and absurd assumptions. So just speaking out what you were saying, why people are disappearing, because they were irritating, because they were questioning. Because they were touching things which they shouldn't have to touch. <coughs> Just carry on talking and speaking out um, as much as possible. <coughs>